Good morning, guys, and welcome back to I Punt Smart. And today is the last day of 2020, so wishing all of you a very happy and merry, alcohol free 2021 and uh, old year party. And hope we can get a few winners for you today. From Turfontaine, uh, already loaded all the exotics, the pick six. Doesn't work out all that much. 1030, 120, 480. Less than 2000 bucks on the full for the small perm on the pick six. The jackpot 6, 12, 48. Less than 200 rand for jackpot one and 832, 128, 128 rand for jackpot two. Anyway, let's start. There's a couple of uh, value runners around, and as we said yesterday in gravel um, it turned out to be much tougher than it looked on the on the face of it and uh, we did win the pa and the bipod we went out in the pick six unfortunately with five wins in a second so we start off in the first and here the odds doesn't agree at all with our uh ratings so we have Senesons, so they say, Rower, Sheltering Sky, Aberdeer, Limitless, Quick Run, Liberty as the opening betting. Um, the ratings, however, it's got Sheltering Sky and Quick Run as the first two. You can see these 54.47 and 6.29 bat figures. Looks pretty decent. Both of them the highest on the greeny points as well. Quick run at 25 to 1 now gets tongue tie fitted. Only runner for Sharon Naidu and uh, only ride for Lukele. And uh, maybe a worthwhile a small nibble with a top four position, also looking like a bit of a nibble. So sheltering sky, quick run, and then rower. And then I've also gone with the other four matched runner, limitless. Um, I think Limitless uh, on the best bat curve here, um, on these red bats on the best median speed, 23% chance to win, is another one that could potentially um, be in the hunt here. It's an interesting race, uh, something like Liberty, Tony Nassif's only runner, Sam Musia gets the ride, which is one of the better work riders out there. So uh, the buy pot is not part of it, so uh, happy to flow over to the next race but uh, yeah first choice sheltering sky i think is a is a decent prospect um by far the best on the greeny points here best bomb roll 42 bat 42 by a little bit ahead of quick run bat 84 bat 168 also that a little bit better and then so they say is not far off 5.4 versus 7.12 um, so quick run, sheltering sky, rower, so they say, Aberdeer, Limitless, Senesons and Liberty. Second race. And yeah, the top rated is a Bella Chica, Ashley Fortune runner with uh, Peterson taking four kilos off the back. So it does carry only 53 and a half kilos. Only one piece that on uh, Maiden Juveniles. So that's why uh, we don't have records and stuff for the Maiden Juveniles here either. So... I'm just going to say 7231 is choices. Bella Chica Ikesha at 22 to 1. Retalic and Fisher King. Uh, and then Winter with Joe as the fifth choice. Moving along, third race. And here we have Buttercup as the top rated. Roy Magna, Dennis Schwartz, and notably. Roy Magna has also got Retallic here with Dennis Schwartz and 2.5 in the betting. So Buttercup, then Gin and Tonic, Wei Mowing and Wai Chong Mowing uh, teams up. That's the second choice. La Filet is the third choice with Gavin Lorena at 4.25. Indie Princess, Corning Spice and Craig Zaki at 14 to 1. Um, the fourth choice and what a miracle. Paul Peter Warren Kennedy. We don't know what a what kind of a miracle it is. It is a white uh, water winter jet master lightning bird, but it's on debut. And uh, to be quite honest with you, it could probably win at 1.45. Um, so 
maybe another race to just uh, fly by. Race four, and here we have our first greeny for the day in the form of Manterio. Jansen van Furen's only got two for the day in races four and seven, and they're both top rated. Slight off putting is it's a 1600 meters where Monterio is getting blinkers fitted for the first time. Um, so that is a bit of a question mark whether the blinkers will uh, be liked or not. Um, but clearly, 0.97 on the blue bat figures versus Shadow Creek 10.44 on the bat figures. They did run against each other on the previous occasion, on that specific occasion. But uh, the reason why Monterio is the greenie is simply put because the merit rating of Monterio is an 83 merit rating compared to Shadow Creek uh, 66 merit rating. So on the handicapper's ability to handicap the horses properly, Monterio has been chosen as a greenie since uh, handicappers have said Shadow Creek has dropped from a 78 to a 66 of late and uh, Monterio is uh, sitting fast on the 83 now. Um, it was also the favorite the previous time 1.35 backed into 1.3 where Shadow Creek was 14 to 1 backed into 12 to 1. Yes, Shadow Creek beat Monterio on that occasion. 0.2 lengths behind the winner versus 3.35 lengths behind the winner, um, which does mean that Officer was also ahead 1.1 lengths behind the winner. So Officer is most definitely also in with a shot in this race. Um, Jason Gates has been running like an absolute demon. He had the last three runners on Tuesday as three winners. And uh, therefore, he's only got the two rides for today, and therefore he has to be respected on both of those two, for uh, of those two rides with uh, cash in or cashless in the last race, which comes against our best bet of the day, not cheap. So in this race, I would go with Manterio first choice, Shadow Creek second choice, Officer third choice. I think those guys will be doing battle again, the same guys that did the battle last time um so uh five two and three i think is probably enough for five pot and pa and pick six um the next best is the seven and the one and that would be light without and immeasurable now immeasurable is the favorite um and it's coming from a long rest and it could might as well could potentially win today as well but it needs to improve quite a bit just purely looking at these 18.65 and 17.76 bat figures um, and the 62.8 on the adjusted time uh, run then uh, the Monterio 61.86 and Shadow Creek 61.56 is a uh, is a little bit better if i look at shadow creek on the 18th of june run here um because this one was the 9th of june on immeasurable then uh shadow creek ran a 6286 immeasurable ran a 6259 the difference being immeasurable was 56 kilos on that day now 60 kilos so four kilos more for him where shadow creek remained on the 60 kilos so that's why i stick to the Monterio Shadow Creek officer choice in this race. Moving on, fifth race. And here, we've got a top rated here in the form of Glider Pilot. And Glider Pilot did run for us on the previous occasion. And uh, to be quite honest with you, uh, he didn't run all that well. He uh, disappointed on that 27th of December, only four days ago, when he was also top rated. Um, and now he's lost Gumalo, Schwartz is getting the ride, Tyrone Zaki um, is the trainer, and you can see he's been there and thereabouts all the time. His uh, blue bat figure is only a 29.15 and a 29.79, but he's coming back to the course again. If you look at Imperial Ruby on that one run, 24 um, Java, then... Uh, 
that 13.44 bad figure at the 14 to 1 horse does definitely also bring him into the equation um, as a definite prospect. The first choice is Glider Pilot, the second choice is Dance Class. Now these two ran against each other um, just uh, pre previously on um, four days ago and uh, Dance Class 1.4 into 1.85, Glider Pilot 2.3 into 2.35 um, but as you can see, the 6.96 bat figure was way worse than the 19th of December run um, when the adjusted time was 62.42 versus 63.01 and the bat figure was a 0 versus a 6.96. He was carrying 61 kilos on that day and uh, we were expecting a bit better from him off the 54 kilo mark, which didn't deliver. Um, and we're going to give him another choice, another chance today because that 6.96 and 0 is still better than any of these bad figures that we have here. Imperial Ruby's last run was way too far, the 3,200 meters. The 8.05 is decent enough and the 13.44 is the best blue bat or exact course, exact distance bat in the field as well. But you can see the 6 and 0 over the 2,000 meters. If you go around down, um, I don't really see anything that's close to that six and zero. Dawn of Salt here with a five on the 12th of September over the 1800, and Warren Kennedy's taking the right, so that's uh, something to be taken note of. Of at the 20 to one euros honor, there was a 4.06 here on the 2000, also back in July 23rd. So way, way back, you can see it's red, um, and the reason why it's red is be between, it's in this 168-day bracket where those figures came through. So most recently, if you're only looking at yellow, which is the last 84 days, and green, which is the last 42 days, then uh, the greens of Glider Pilot, 6.96 and 0 bat, is definitely um, looking pretty decent for a 9 to 1 shot. So um, it is a bit open this race because if we've got a 9 to 1 on top rated and you've got a 20 to 1 in rated third and a 14 to 1 rated fourth um, and Imperial Ruby another 14 to 1 rated fifth could turn out to be quite an interesting little contest. Um, purely based on these very superior bat figures on Glider Pilot um, Con was Glider Pilot as the one option in the bipod, and then the strong favorite Dance Class as the other option, four and nine in the bipod. In the pick six, I've got a bit wider, I've gone four, nine, one, two, three, five. So Glider Pilot, Dance Class, Dawn Assault, Euros Honor, Imperial Ruby, and also the very short, close to Dance Class favorite. African Adventure, which also has the highest super rule percentage, 70%, um, and that giving you a 40% chance on the win only on the three occasions. So the 2400 Java, though, if you look at that, um, on the 1031 form when Imperial Ruby was third, and he was second, he was carrying 52 and a half kilos, and now he's carrying 58. So uh, that's a five and a half kilo more carry. And it's also not got the services of Muzi Yeni. And then um, the 59 and a half on that day is only one and a half less. So he's got one and a half less on Imperial Ruby. And African Adventure has five and a half more. So that's a seven kilo kilograms swing over 2,400 meters. That is a lot of cement on your back for 2,400 meters. And that's why you can see these back figures 1344 against 3205. And the reason why Imperial Ruby is ahead of African Adventure. Moving on to the sixth race. And here, again, we're going short six and four, Pinda Mazala and Written in Stone. Um, and those figures I'll show you just now does look pretty good. Um, as far as the rating averages is concerned, because 
Then there's quite a gap um, into the third selection, Holy Man, with the fourth selection, the mowing mowing combination in the contractor and the other Sinjin Grey runner after hours in fifth selection. So six and four is the two that we believe is gonna carry us through here and probably the winner will be coming from there and if that's not the case then holy man contractor and after hours one three and nine is the next best race seven potentially Janssen from Fearance double um, after the race four in the first Monterio he also has true to life year but it does look a little bit closer than that um, if you look at the actual um, average rankings so I've gone with the uh, couple uh, uh, with a 4176 true to life Jimmy Churi run state trooper at 22 to 1 the gates the other gates runner with Roy Magna taking the ride you can see for a 22 to 1 best form best stat form best intent best exotic ranking 33 percent chance to win and best back curve so uh, not to be overlooked and then also corner space again with the best back 42 um, so another one where the, the Imperial Ruby was the other one. Best adjusted time, best speed rating, best bomb roll 42, back 42, 84, back 168, 12 to 1, Symphonica. So uh, 4176 I'm going with here. And uh, that is also for PA and also for pick 6 and jackpot 1 and 2. And then 2 and 5 is for the bigger perms, Mr. Flood. Um, Lucky and Kamalo together and Winter Storm again a Wai Chong Mowing but this time with Marco from Rendsburg to the 8th race and here the favorite of 4 to 10 is justified in the form of reunion um, because he is the top rated but in saying that he is the top rated um, you can also see from the average rankings just now that he's actually not that far ahead on the rankings um, of the rest of the field so if his squadron is the second rated sham and kamalo together with the best blue back best super rule percentage best speed rating then paul matchett's other ride for the day after he's got the first race he's got muzi yeni on board as well taking the blinkers off today and he's one year without the blinkers over the 1600 He's also been third and fourth without the blinkers, so it didn't look like the blinkers really worked for him. So he's in with a little bit of a shot at 16 to 1 as the best adjusted time in this race. Um, and then have a go, Joe. Sean Terry and Lyle Lewitson at 10 to 1. Best statistical form, 20% chance to win. And best intent, 40% chance to win. Four out of the last 10 um, was the highest intent winning that race. Now, very little between reunion and have a go joe on intent so warren kennedy paul peter could very well also be close to the best intent and that could change with the odr on their rules enabled as the results come in for the rest of the day it could go that the intent does move over to a reunion by this by then um but uh, the 1364 is what I've gone with in the second last leg of the PA since it's also the last leg of jackpot one and uh, the last leg of jackpot one is normally your toughest toughest race when it comes to exotics so I've not gone and banked at reunion yet I've gone with uh, one three four and six there's no value in reunion we're actually hoping for it to get beaten um, so that the pick six can pay because most people will treat it as a five legged pick six so where we will be going with the banker in my case is uh, on Nachi. I'm going to go with Nachi as my banker in the last race or maybe Nachi and cash time. And the reason for that is uh, 2.61 on the bat figures here. By far the best bat curve. In fact, it is 9.76 lengths ahead from the second rated cash time. And that's the second for Ashley Fortune for the day and the only for Calvin Hubbard sitting in the jockey room all day long so Nachi my first choice choice and the bank in the PA and for me my best bet for the day is Nachi and then uh, for the bigger perm 4 and 11 
which is Cash Time and Shaikh Akbar, the fast bowler from Pakistan, um, as the third choice. You can see there's still improvement needed, but he is a spring chicken on only his fifth run today. Um, and then the pick six gets one more entry, and that is the third highest on the bat figures, 12.89, um, which is a whole 10 away from Nachi, and still the third best, but also got super rule percentage as the same with Nachi, 70%, and speed rating as the highest, so slow run, slow run race. Uh, Dory Sham and Sell High could just upset you. So 7, 4, 11 and 3 is my top 4 selections. Fifth choice then goes to Prospector, then Storm Commander, 22 to 1, best adjusted time, best median speed, and then Skimanak and Great Warrior. So that's it from us guys, but before I leave you, I just want to show you these, uh, these, these figures here on the uh, JTR combos first and as we look for potential winners slash doubles um, I've spotted this one Ashley Fortune here 2.4 which is a low ranking average on Bella Chica with the 4.19 on cash time which is the second lowest year as well then Brad Weber is the second lowest with written in stone as you can see Clinton Binder taking all of the uh, 2.11 Binder Mazala the uh, Corey speech combinations has some low ones 3.9 4.2 3.48 which is all pretty decent indie princess um, they look like all, all place prospects Imperial Ruby and Symphonico they all look like a top four propositions at those kind of low averages uh, then Doris Sham has uh, FS Squadron as the lowest year, as you can see. And that's an okay sell high at 4.5. Then Janssen van Vieren on Monterio, as well as True to Life, is very low on both sides. Best on both sides, 2.3 and 2.04. So that's a potential double for you right there. Another potential double for you if is 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 if Janssen van Vieren doesn't do it, then Mike de Kock on Shadow Creek, followed by our best bet, Nachi. Those is another one that could potentially happen. Um, then Paul Matchett here on Sheltering Sky, with uh, Muzi Yeni on the other side on Foreign Field here. They are 2.68 and 2.97. And then uh, we have a 1.75, the lowest of the day on Reunion. Uh, so can clearly see why it is probably a banker for everyone and it has got a really good chance of winning as well uh, and then buttercup buttercup in Roy Magna with a 2.64 on Retallic here and another 2.93 on State Trooper here 22 to 1 so those are three pretty low rankings and um, that's the ranking of all of the 20 indicators together so that is pretty low um, and then Sean Terry and Lyle Hewitson has got a couple of low ones as well. Fisher King on that one. There's Lorena on Jimmy Churi run. Have a go Joe. And uh, Shaikh Akbar, they're all pretty low. Tyra and Zaki's uh, best one is Glider Pilot here on that one, as you can see. And that's got Dennis Schwartz and the other two has got Craig Zaki with the higher sixes. And then Wai Chong Mowing has got a 2.64 year for Ikesha. Um, Wayu mowing and Wai Shang mowing, interesting combination in the second, um, and then followed that up by 2.73 on the gin and tonic, so that's uh, quite uh, decent as well. Ikesha and gin and tonic. So do do look at these uh, JTR combos as the day goes by. Uh, you'll see the populated uh, positions here, and you'll be able to spot the the trainer's intentions on, on winners and on places. And then if I move over to the JTR detail sheet, um, just a couple of things that, uh, yeah, you can see 2.68 is the lowest ranking average, that, that average that I just spoke about now, and that would be Sheltering Sky. Um, then it is followed by 3.36 on Quick Run, which is a 25 to 1 only runner. 
only right, um, trainer. Um, and then 3.36 goes up to a 3.89 on ROA. And then a 4.04 .04 on so they say and a 4.08 on Aberdeer. So this is where we try and see um, which one really stands out. Here we have a 2.4, 2.64 and another 2.64. So not really a race that I'd like to be involved with because they're pretty close together. Um, and then we have Roy Magna here with the Buttercup 2.08 as the top and second is Gin and Tonic at 2.73. Then there's a little bit of a gap to a 3.9, uh, sorry, 3.47 on La Fille, 3.9 on Hindi Princess. Moving over in the fourth. You see there's a 2.34 from Ontario and a 2.76 from Shadow Creek. And from there on, it really jumps a lot into the next base, the 4.52. So it's almost two more into Officer. So that's why that's a potential to just back those two together into your exotics. And that's how I find these exotic uh, ones that I really think um, but should be short selected uh, races. In the fifth, we have glider pilot here 2.3, and then there's quite a gap from 2.3 into the 3.54 for Dawn's class, and then a 3.86 for Dawn Assault, and then a 4.19 for Euros Honor, and a 4.28 for Imperial Ruby, um, and a 4.34 for African Adventure. So you can see there's quite a gap. On and rightly so because there's threes, ones, twos, twos, ones. There's this bad six on stat form, which is a bit off putting because uh, it means that, uh, yeah, the statistical form is not really good, but the intentions are, are there. And um, with the second ranked on intentions, the first one's this top shot on intentions, um, and that's because of the combination Alexandre Mujan that also gets the uh, red flame. But glider pilots also got all of these uh, in ones and twos. That's why it comes up at low at 2.3. Sixth race, um, and sixth race here, we have a 2.11 in the form of Pinda Mazala. And then we have a 2.71 written in stone. And then there's a huge gap from 2.71, the next best being 4.48, holy man. So you can understand why. I've only gone with 6 and 4 in my bipod here as well because of those gaps. In the 7th race, uh, we have a 2.04 on True to Life. And then we have a 2.76 average on Chimichurri Run. And a lot of blanks here because there's no data in those days. And then after 2.77, we got a 2.93 on Roy Magna and Jason Gates on State Trooper. And then we have a 3.48 on Symphonico. Um, if you look at these rankings and you combine that with four runs since its last win, and a trainer ranked third in the country and a jockey ranked ninth in the country, then uh, it does make them stronger as well. Um, especially if you look at in form, like Wayo Mowing's very in form because he's just won his last race, and Janse van Vieren also just won his young last race. Cornish Special on the other hand has taken 30 runs and hasn't had a winner yet so you can understand why um, the informed trainers has a bit more weight carried. Then in the 8th race uh, the 1.75 on Reunion is the best in here um, followed by a 2.68 on FS Squadron 2.97 on Foreign Field and uh, 3.19 on Have A Go Joe. And then in the lucky last, the lucky last is also where our best bet is. And you can see Mike the Cock here, best open betting, best overall ranking, best green points, best exotic ranking. J just the time is not all that great, but um, it made the bat figures are made up here. All the bat figures in green, all the bum roll figures in green, the total, super rule percentage intent, 
statistical form and form everything green so it's just those three that brings the average to a 2.55 but that 2.55 is by far the biggest gap into the second and that's why it's my best bet for today um, because after you've got the 2.55 your next best is only a 4.19 which is 1.64 uh, difference and that goes to cash time Ashley Fortune and Calvin Habib Ashley Fortune being in very good form only one run since his last win and Habib sitting in the jockey room all day so 22 to 1 is a nice little backup cover for Nauchi um, and after the 4.19 there's a 4.39 which is Shak Apta and close behind that a 4.54 on sell high so you can see why the pick six seven four eleven three is those four numbers because after the 4.54 we jump all the way up to a 1.05 more into the 5.59 prospector okay guys that's it for me um i've already told you my best bet today is nachi my best value bet is probably glider pilot um and then a yeah, reunion should win but not at that price for me um the best trainer double is probably jansen von fieren on true to life and monterio uh, for the win place double um for me it is the von fieren double and uh, what else yeah greeny on pinna mazala here but ripping in stone is very close to it um and then uh, i think that's it the first three races is not much for me apart from i i really like sheltering sky to be involved in the top three or top four um so sheltering sky and quick runs back figures are clearly better than the rest apart from so they say they so they say Bella Chica, this race, um, because of all not, not a numbers here, because of the data, all these runners were like 800 meter runners, so i rather stay away from that kind of race. And yeah, um, again the same, but Buttercup does come up with some good strong points, and Gin and Tonic, between Buttercup and Gin and Tonic, there's a lot of oh, gap after that to La, to La Filet um, in that race. That's it. Okay, guys, have a great um, New Year's Eve party, and uh, please stay safe during these COVID times. Uh, it is serious, and it is uh, spreading like a uh, felt fire, and it's real. Um, a friend of mine lost both his uh, parents within the course of a month, so uh, it's definitely real, so be safe out there. Till tomorrow, have a great 2020 and we'll see you in 2021.